y'all, it's Mikey. Welcome to the farm. So glad to have y'all here with us today. So I am gathering together all the feed for these critters around here. And while I am doing this, I am sending Hubby on a mission. He has a project to do today. So I'm going to let him take y'all along with him and let him show y'all what we've got going on around here. What I'm going to do today is going to be making a door for the little chicken pen. I do not know what we took the door off for and used. We did take it off and put it over here on the rabbit cage, but I'm not certain what happened to the original door that was on the uh, little ch little baby chicken pen. So I'm going to go over there and make a door real quick so we can get these baby chickens out here and get them some fresh air and walking around. So that's what we're going to be doing, that door right there putting the door right here on the, oh, sorry. Sorry, y'all, right there. Well, it's hot out here again today like it was the other day, not quite as bad, but it is still humid. Um, and like I said, I'm over here at the shed. I'm gonna build that little door. And uh, I'm not certain if y'all have the same problem where y'all are, but at down south here, we had the dirt daubers and uh, they get in everything especially like air tools they'll build they'll go up in the end of you know like impact wrench or anything like that and build a nest inside of the little hole in the orifice and then your air tool don't work so you have to sit there with a piece of wire or something like that and clean it out and get it out but they love everything so that's why you see me all my tools my air tools and pressure washers anything like that that has an open hose I will actually put a little piece of wire up in it or a little, uh, like a little tiny screwdriver or something like that. And that keeps the dirt robbers from building nests up in them. This is the end of a pressure washer hose. They will actually go up in that little hole and completely build a nest all the way up the about right here out of dirt and then stop that up. And then when you go to use your pressure washer. So what I do is I actually put them back together. I will connect them back together and that way nothing can get up in it put it in there like that it's not completely connected but they can't get up in there and make a nest up in it all right what we got here is just some old scrap boards that i've had laying around you can see they've already been out in the weather a little bit so uh we're going to use these just scrap boards and stuff and we got some scrap wire that was on another project i'm not going to cut good wire off of my roll or anything to use I'm just going to utilize this stuff right here and make a door out of this. Things are constantly moving on a farm and changing and there's no sense in putting a, uh, unless you know it's gonna be permanent or you know it's gonna be there for a long, long time. Just like this pen over here that we've had for the chickens, little baby chickens. We put, we take them inside, we have them in the brooder inside. Then they always go out there to go to the little pen then they move into the next pen, then they can move up to the barn. So everything changes constantly. That little pen that's been on the side of the pen, you know, where we go from the brooder to the ne next little pen that I'm working on now, that pen has been taken off, put on, taken off, put on, changed around and everything. And I'm not certain where the gate is. It'd be really nice just to find the gate and put it back on there. It's somewhere probably around in my junk pile. And I spent the last probably 30 minutes looking for things and materials and stuff like that. So that is why we came over here and got this shed straightened up. And I still have to go inside and work inside of the shed. But I haven't, I started on it a little bit, but it got so hot and I was sweating. And my wife needed me to help her do something yesterday. So I came off of that and I will get back on that. So uh, right now it's just, I got my, ter my materials lined up. So we're going to go ahead and make this. Don't hold me to it. It ain't gonna be no pretty thing. It's just gonna be a quick thrown together thing. And like I say, things on the farm, they ain't gotta be the neatest thing as long as they work and they hold up. That's all that matters. It ain't, it's not gonna win no beauty contest. So I, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about it being functional and working. So let me get this cut up and straightened out and I'll show y'all as I go along. All right, y'all, this is what I was talking about with the dirt knoppers, this saw has been in the shed and as you can see the dirt divers go and build a hole a nest up inside of that little tiny hole right there and they clog everything up they love little tiny holes like this right here 
they'll just they'll just build a nest and anything they can possibly do and most of the time it's not any problem but like i say when they get in your air tools and the corpus is in the air tools or anything like that that's aggravating because if you don't see it and you hook it up and then you blow it up into the top of the like an air truck or something like that then you have to tear the air truck apart and fix it and repair it me messing around with my tools over the last couple of weeks Evidently the little brush that I had stuck in this nail gun. You see that dirt darbin nest in there? Let me get you out here so you can see. See that dirt darbin nest in there? And that's what they do. And it ruins your tools. So I'm gonna have to take that off and clean it. And uh let me get it off here. So y'all can see. all the way through it if anything it's just aggravating those dirt divers do that so uh hopefully he didn't go he didn't go no further in there we'll blow that out to make sure i don't see nothing else up in there so that might be far as he went so i'll clean that out but I just wanted to show you all that. Anytime you got stuff like this, and what, like I said, what I do is I put a, like a little brush or a little screwdriver up in the end of it. And somehow that one must have just fell out while I was moving my tools around and stuff. And it don't take them but a day. And they come in and do that. So let me get that cleaned out and get this on cut up and show you all as I go step by step. I just wanted to show you all what I was doing. I got a bad habit of, in my videos, I kind of, I show you what I'm doing, but I don't show you what I'm doing. I just kind of show you parts of it. And I want you to be able to actually see the nitty gritty that goes into it when you're actually making something. Like I said, we're just utilizing old that we don't need no more that's why I hold on the all my junk because you never know what you're gonna need to use And I like to be very careful now because some of these projects that I've made and I've done, I do them in such a hurry that I don't think about safety and stuff like that when I'm doing them. So now I try, I do not want my wife getting out there and like opening the, opening the door to this little chicken pen and cutting her hand on these sharp pieces of wire and stuff like that's right here. So now I do things with a little more care because I want her to be able to be safe when she goes out and opens the rabbit pen or something like that. But let me get this hooked up here. Mm. All right, let me stop y'all because I grabbed the wrong nails for the wrong nail gun. All righty, scrap that. Another good example of my wife coming over here and helping me get this shed straight. I cannot find the nails for this nail gun. So we're going to use screws to put it together. And then I'll show you what I have to do. They are a little bit long. So what I'm going to do, I've already made that a little bit. measure that now. Ready. So once I get this shed in order, I got a staple gun and a nail gun. Two nail guns, excuse me. And a uh, It's 
I can find the nail or one nail gun and one staple gun, but not the other staple. I mean, not the other nail gun. So we'll put it together with these. The wind, is, I, I don't like these screws. I used, to, I used to build furniture and stuff out of pallet wood and stuff like that and use these little countersinking screws. That was the, just, just the quickest thing I could find to put down on this. And uh, so now we gotta cut some to go down the sides and we'll go from there. I'll show you all after I get them cut. All right, what I'm doing here is Y'all, I could not find any more wood like this. I thought I had some more scrap pieces. But this is actually homemade molding that I've made about probably two or three years ago when we took the vinyl siding off of our house. Well, excuse me, aluminum siding off of our house that Nan and Poppy had put up so we could get back to the German lap siding that was on there. It was a pretty wood siding, and we didn't like the, uh, the aluminum siding on there. So we took it off, but there was a gap between the eaves and the side of the house so i actually had to make some homemade molding because nobody made anything that would fill that gap that i like so i'm going to utilize this board they've been sitting in the shed i got about three or four of these so i had made these and they actually turned out really nice but it's a good piece of board so i'm just going to use this piece of board for this like I said, you always keep everything. That's a good piece of corner bead right there that I've used. And I'll probably use that for something else. But right now, I just wanted to get down to this board right here. So, let me get my tape measure and get some measurements there.
make things a lot easier than it used to be. You would used to have to do this with a drill and sometimes a drill was just aggravating to try to do or something like this. But these little impacts and stuff like that, all these power tools they got now, really make life a lot better. Um, like my wife was saying the other day, some inventions have actually helped and then some inventions have not benefit of mankind that break some things have but it's got us out of the, it's got us out of the old ways i remember my granddaddy would have to sit here with an old hand saw and cut all this wood piece by piece it didn't have the benefit to having a, a, a shot i mean a mitre saw or anything like that he would actually have to sit here and cut stuff by hand, but an old hand saw. And um, that's where a lot of the saying, the old saying probably came from, measure twice, cut once. Because nowadays, you just kind of, you go and sit there and go and quit. That you mess up, you just, oh well, throw that piece in the scrap like I've got stuff on that one. So it was too short. So um, in the old days, they didn't do that. They didn't have the money to do that. And the, uh, stuff like that, the waste and stuff. So, um, nowadays things are moving at a quicker pace and everything. Well, anyway, there you have a new door with no sharp edges on it for my wife to get hurt on or me to get hurt on. There ain't no sharp edges on the wire anywhere. And, um, I'll probably run over it with the sander or something like that and get anything that's smoothed out and put the hinges on it. I got the hinges here. Let me find them. They sit in somewhere. Got the hinges right here just some old hinges i take hinges off of anything and reuse them i don't know where to mount them yet but uh they'll go like that and then i'll put a hasp over here to be able to lock it and not certain what i'm gonna have to use to do that yet neither because I, until i get over there and see exactly what i got so uh let me cut y'all off real quick and i'll show y'all what y'all hanging from you promise not to laugh now you promise not to laugh I had y'all hanging from a, a cheap old oil thing that used to be my grandmama's. It's got Nana rode on it right there. And I had y'all stuck in here like this right here, hanging off of the saw. So uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. I wanted y'all to come along and see what I was doing and I couldn't find nowhere to lay the camera. Just a quick ingenuity thing I could find to hang y'all from the thing and Hope y'all wasn't bouncing around too much every time I moved the table. I looked up and saw the camera moving around. So hopefully it wasn't too much of a bouncy ride. Uh, let me take this over there and get it hooked up for my wife so we can go ahead and get them chickens out and get them outside so they can have fun because it looks like it's about to rain here. And um, we'll go from there. I'll take y'all over there to show you that. All right, got that on there. Got that working really good. Got it I love these gate locks and there's no sharp edges I just make sure I pay a close attention to that now because I do not want my wife getting hurt again I actually made something I forgot what it was I think it was the rabbit cage and she opened the rabbit cage up and when she undone the lock like that it cut cut the top of her hand so I do not want that happening again so this is a lot better and nothing for her to get hurt on and no sharp edges on that. So, we went and bought a big old box of uh, dog biscuit treats. And whenever I open the box, y'all, look what it came with. <laughs> So these are all the baby chicks, y'all, that we had in the brooder inside. 
we got them all boxed up and ready for their new home. So this one right here is gonna be a little silky. See his little fuzz on the top of his head? Yeah. All right, you ready to go in? Yeah. Check out your new home. Come on. And some of them are a little bit smaller than others, but uh, they got their feathers in pretty good. And uh, they still got a little bit of fuzz buzz feathers but for the most part and it's warm enough out here for them and they are just ready to get out say we are stinking up in the bathroom being in that brooder and literally you clean it out every day and uh there's 11 of them in here so with them getting bigger like this they're kind of um getting on top of each other in that brooder. So this will give them more room to move around. Isn't that pretty? The colors on it. So they are all in their new cage and hubby is going to put them a little yard area out here, but they're covered so they can get under there when it rains to stay dry. They got nice clean shavings and we're gonna bring them. <laughs> yes. She said, what about their food? <laughs> so we're gonna bring them out their water uh, feeder and their feed. So they'll have plenty of water and feed in there and y'all see they're scratching around and doing exactly what chickens are supposed to do. So it was time for them to get on outside and we've got them right next to the other chickens over there so hopefully they'll get acclimated that was just perfect timing to move those other chickens outside because we got new hatched baby chicks that we've got moved back in to the brooder inside and like hubby was saying things are constantly moving and changing around on the farm. So we've got the older ones moved out and the younger ones moved in and looking for some more to be hatched soon.